Well, that's the big question, Jenny. And there are rumors about the rain, but there was snow apparently at Mount Hood today. So it's all coming, Josh. Yeah. It, it's all coming. Mother Nature has flipped the switch. We're moving into the fall season, even if it is a few days before we actually move into the brand new autumn equinox. But as far as that snow coverage goes, a light little dusting there over Oregon's highest point. Mount Hood looking mighty fine, once again blanketed in a light dusting. But the cloud coverage and the fog layer at the Woods government camp still remains as our temperatures are almost winter-like. 43 degrees is where we currently sit. After looking over the past six hours over Mount Hood, you'll notice those whites, the pinks, the blues. That's all the snowfall that has fallen over our high elevated spots. And more is likely to still come in the coming days. As the cloud coverage slowly peels its way out of the I-5 quarter, just the same out along the coastline. But I do Want to pay attention to the low pressure system kind of centered right over the Pendleton area where we've gotten a total of about five lightning strikes as everything becomes a little bit more electrical out there. You can see the dark storm clouds off in the distance with a live look out at the Dalles. Much different picture though out over the Riverview Bank camera over Vancouver as a little bit of sunshine now rains down upon us as we climb up into the upper 60s. The winds relatively on the calm side of the north northwest and our sunset this evening Try 712, another sign that the fall like season is quickly approaching as our daytime highs have been on the cooler end of things below average by almost 10 degrees 68 for that high today 70 for Salem. Our normal temperature in Portland should be 76 this time of year and we go even colder as we work our way through the early morning hours tomorrow. Portland expecting to fall below the 50 degree mark. That will be the coldest temperature we have seen in months last falling back into the 40s back on June 1st of this year. So it's been quite a while, but even down towards the south, getting in on our first freeze warning of the brand new season. That's where temperatures could potentially dip as low as the teens. Frost, of course, a very real likelihood out that direction, and you need to make sure you protect your plants out towards the south central regions of the states. But Portland, the I-5 quarter steering clear of those sub-freezing temperatures. But the cool down all due to this upper level low pressure system dragging the jet stream further to the south. This cool pool of air is just going to spin over us over the next several days before this gradual ridge starts to build. That will help us to get back up into the mid-70s where we should be for this time of year as another stronger upper level low has the potential to funnel in a lot of moisture here for the end of the weekend and the beginning of next week. So all eyes out over the Pacific as we expect to see the next six to 10 days with a greater chance to see the return of the wet weather that also comes with a bit of a cool down for us as we all time it out here with our future cast seeing those clearing skies tonight with the lack of cloud coverage all that heat that we built up during the day once again escapes back out into the atmosphere. That's why we're going to be cooling things down as the rain primarily remains over the Cascades and points east. It's going to struggle to push its way as far west as the Willamette Valley for tomorrow. So that means we get sunshine for the valley and for the coastline. Cascades are going to be dealing with maybe a few more snowflakes for places like Mount Hood as our rain accumulation over the next 24 hours or so lackluster a lot of zeros. But fast forward in the next week. That's where our super soaker event really starts to set up. But for tonight, falling back into the upper 40s, winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10. Tomorrow, back up to the mid 70s. That's normal for us this time of year. And our seven day forecast shows a very active seven day for us. We start off dry as we move into the near 80 degree zone for Friday. And that's the first day of fall. And that's going to feel like fall with the temperatures in the 60s, the rain. Monday, Tuesday, maybe even a rumble of thunder, a bolt of lightning, yeah. all in the realm of possibility. So buckle up. We're in for a, a big change in the next seven days. Yeah, tell your dog to yeah. buckle up, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, Josh. Yeah. Hey, coming up, what three or